What's up guys, TK here. And today we're gonna be doing something extremely short, extremely simple, and this is completely overcomplicated on the internet. We're gonna be installing an LS oil pump. So the one that we got today is a Mellings. It is actually a 295 pump, I do believe. Yeah, 295 pump, you know, your standard oil pump. Now, what I mean by overcomplicated is a lot of guys overcomplicate these on the internet saying that you have to shim them and all that. Well, GM didn't do this from the factory. And you know, you don't have to, you don't have to go through all those extra steps. So let's take the oil pump and we're gonna Get it going on this. There we go. See how simple that was? Just slid right on. Now, a lot of people like to oil these. Not really necessary, and I'll show you why here in a minute. We're going to take our new supplied oil pump bolts from ICT Billet. Had to go get the Loctite. So, we're gonna put some Loctite on these bolts. Uh, I do believe those are 10 millimeter. So, this is what's important. We're gonna run these down, one click, one click, one click, one click. Now, this is the important part. Take your harmonic balancer bolt. Both in. Now, we're gonna back off just a little bit. on all the boats. We're gonna get them real close, really close. You want it as close as possible. All right, see how that, there's a little slack in it, okay? Now, we're gonna take and rotate our crank an entire revolution. So I'll start from the top. One more time until we get the dots lined right back up. Bam. Now, with that, with that said, smoke them. I wouldn't say smoke them. There's no more shake in it no more. You can now break this loose. And let me go get my torque wrench. Now, take your torque wrench, 18 foot pounds. Ah. Dang. All right, double check them. One, well. Bam. And that's how simple it is to install an oil pump onto an LS motor. You don't have to take the front cover apart. You don't have to do all that shimming stuff. Now, the reason why that's a big controversy is a lot of guys that build like, like, let's just say you had like a higher volume oil pump or like you're pumping out six, seven, 800 horsepower, some kind of, or you got like a really aftermarket oil pump. Yes, you have to shim them. You don't have to sit here, take the front cover off, get the three shims. You don't have to do it at that. 
If you're not doing nothing wild like that, you do not have to do that at all. I don't know why that is blown up, but it just is. Um, I did a lot of thinking and I'm not going to install the little plate back there to stop these boys from bouncing around, mainly because I'm lazy. And so, yeah. Anywho, as far as priming the oil pump, GM does it. There's a couple other guys that do it. This plug right here. Let me bring, let me bring you in. Okay, so this plug right here. You take this plug out, get you like a 3 8 out of fuel injection hose, any kind of 3 8 hose. Shove it in there. Get it real nice and deep light. Get you a funnel. And pour oil in it. Just pour it in there until it fills up. And that's it. Alright, so out of curiosity, this is a 300 thousand mile motor why don't we see what's inside the old oil pump since we got it here now mind you this thing did have oil pressure because this motor did run despite all the issues doesn't look that bad I mean definitely doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look look at that the sad part is guys I believe this is still serviceable we like Parts clean it, brake clean it, slap it back together. Hmm. It might actually be worth something. Let's put this to the side. Let's take out our little plug. Yeah. Gray spring. Let me guys know what you think down in the comment section below. You think we could reuse this for something? Cause it don't, it don't look bad. Hmm. Anyway, just figured I'll show you guys the inside of a 300,000 mile oil pump. You know, never know what you might find. But I was just curious. I was just sitting here and I was thinking, like, we got to, like, dive into something, you know. And at the very least, figured out if there was, like, metal shavings or anything left inside this oil pump. But, but I digress. Everything... Everything seems to be good. Well, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. I wanted to show you guys how simple and easy it is to do an oil pump installation on your typical LS motor. All that shimming crap. Look, I've never had an oil pump failure, pressure failure, or anything doing it that way. And the crazy part about it all is I don't even know where this shimming thing even st like came from because GM never shimmed them from the factory at all it was just you know bolt and go that's what they're made for but you do have to turn the crank you know to make sure everything falls in line before like tightening it down all the way so maybe that's where the confusion lies it i don't know but let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to see next we're still going to be pumping out like little small mini videos for like you know installations on the ls motor 
That way we can get it all coming up and going to the big reveal at the very end. But guys, it's been a blast. Don't forget, brush your hair, brush your teeth, drink water, and I'll see you in the next video. TK and Leroy, we're out.